Shalom Aleichem, and welcome to Online Smicha. In this week's uh, Perik, Perik Sheni, there is a fascinating Mishnah. And in, this de- in the details of this Mishnah, I'd like to stop and discuss two of them, because they're just amazing. Um, the, the, con- the general concept of the Mishnah and Perik Bey's Mishnah Vav, Mishnah Zayin, Hillel said, Hu Hoya Eimer. And the Mishnah lists off a bunch of things that to have too much of that thing is not necessarily good, but mar b'toyra, mar b'chachma, mar b'yeshiva, mar b'chaim. However, a lot of Torah increases your wisdom, a lot of uh, yeshiva studying increases life, etc., etc. But in the Gashmistic of things, we know that a, a lot of, too much of it is actually actually a distraction. And the Mishnah starts off by saying, Hu o'yoimer, mar b'bosor, mar b'rima, uh, a person that is so indulged in his food, is, and he has, and he, he physically grows a, to to be a big size, that's just going to be harmful for him. Rachman Latlan after 120. And if you look into Mefarshim, there's actually a discussion. The Teisus Yontif and other Mefarshim. I mean, what are you talking about after 120? After 120, when the Rachman Latlan, when the best the mess is buried, who feels anything? So there's a discussion if it's if it's a spiritual feeling, or a, uh, f- a, a literally a physical feeling, but the Bartanura generalizes this Mishnah and says like this: malon hai taina. This Tana over here is trying to teach us shakol ribuyim kashim laadam. In general, too much of the same item is not good. To have too much is not good. Chutz, the exception to this rule is Ribui Torah v'chachma utzdaka. More studying Torah, more giving tzdaka, and more wisdom. Now, I, I heard a story lately, a fascinating story, that the Rebbe once in Yechidus once told somebody that there is a Pasik in Parshish Toildus, where the Pasik says that, about Yitzchak giving Esav the Brachas. First, Yitzchak, of course, gave ya- Yaakov the bracha. Esav was all upset that he's supposedly left n- with nothing. So at the end, Yaakov, Yitzchak gives Esav a bracha too. And he says, Valchar b'chatichya, you live on your sword. Uh, and you will serve your brother. You will serve your brother, Yaakov. But then comes these words. V'hoyo kasher tarid. And it will be, Rachman al-Atzlan, in a time... Uh, when, uh, when, as Rashi says, when the Yidin will fall and, and they will not fulfill Torah mitzvahs, you will release, you will have some release from the yoke, that the responsibilities that you're supposed to serve the Yidin. At that time, Rachman al-Atzlan, when the Yidin are not doing well, that, re- that responsibility will be released from you. You won't have to do so. So the Rebbe once spoke to somebody and said, we know that there are Taryag mitzvahs. Taryag mitzvahs is 613. kasher tarid. Tarid is tafresh yud dalid. 614. And there's a tremendous lesson. Sometimes if you hear somebody that perhaps is even adding, he's not only doing 613, he's going to say, I'm going to be from and I'm going to make it into 614. You should know to add a mitzvah in the Torah, that Rachman al is a tremendous disaster. So what we do is we keep the Torah, the 613 mitzvahs, and that six, those 613 mitzvahs we increase in learning and in depth, as I will soon explain. So the, the Mishnah goes on further and speaks about not to be too involved in the chasim, in nashim. But then the Mishnah says, mar be Torah, mar be chayim. Liter- simply translated means, the more study of Torah, the more life you increase. Well, I saw a shayla yesterday from a chassidah shereba that says, I don't get this statement, mar be Torah, mar be chayim. Al pi alacha, the Torah says, We are obligated to study Torah day and night. So as long as there is a t- time in the day that I'm free, I am obligated to study Torah. 
if I'm obligated to study Torah, how are what? How do you want me to be marbet Torah to increase? There's not. There's no more than 24 hours a day. That's the. I, mean, I can't add more time into the day. So how? What does the Mishnah mean? What is the Tana telling me? Marbet Torah. And the, one of the Chassidus Sherebis explains so beautifully. It doesn't mean to add more times in the uh, hours to the day. It doesn't even mean to learn it better, to learn it in more in depth. It actually means you could learn. You're learning by yourself. Mar Torah means add more people, get more people involved in learning Torah. Oh, by doing that, Mar B'chayim, Mar B'yeshiva, Mar B'chachma, you're getting more and more people involved in spreading Torah, spreading Yiddishkeit. That is the best thing for the security of the world.